Hey guys, how you going? So I just met with um, Adam. Um, yeah, just very impressed. You know, everything um, I did sort of imagine he would be very well thought out. You know, really great guy. He's the kind of person you would want at his at your house doing the work for you. So really appreciative that someone like that wants to work with us. Um, he has mentioned a lot of things, but I too, in summary. What I want to really emphasize is to the is to the staff and anybody interacting with the customers, it comes down to one thing, which is where we're missing out on is currently we have when customers hear someone from Australia, they think, okay, it's an Australian company, it's someone that is governed under the law it can't be some kind of fake company it can't be some kind of scam company so um uh, give me one second give me one second so that's for an australian staff member yeah so um currently we have no Australian staff members that are face to that are on the phone, whether it be a sales call or whether it be a follow up call or whether it be a project manager, right? So you're really on the back foot. So it's not just Adam, but every single person we've spoke to has said the same thing that um, when people hear a foreign voice, they suspect the company isn't going to be as good as it should be. So, to overcome all these things, we really need to go the extra mile. We really need to um, be able to do the things that I feel as though I have taught in all the videos and stuff in the past, but we're too scared to implement them. Like, things like, simple things like, um, Hey, how's it going? Like, how's your day going? Um, do you have any questions for me? Um, yes, we do use, you know, yes, I'm not from Australia, but I do handle, I've been working here a long time. Um, you know, creating that, you know, people, when they are working with us, are handing over, you know, trust to us and their money to us. And when people are doing things like that, they are extremely suspicious about everything so instead of ignoring it and being all like hey how's it going you know all friendly on the phone and going to the call script we need to go the extra yard we need to be able to you know address their concerns and they're like is there any questions that you have for me you know are you you know do you have questions about what the plumber may do on site and you need to be yeah you need to be able to communicate that I'm gonna put it simply put it um, in time to come and it's already started with the new AI systems it's called alpha um, I think it's by chat GPT which is the first one that's come out but it's I've, I've mentioned this you know two years ago where not only will all written customer customer um, interactions, everything written, Zendesk, customer complaints, com customer inquiries, customer service, customer sales, not only will that be done by an AI robot, but the new Alpha GPT systems, the actual person on the phone is going to be a robot. So, doesn't matter if you're Filipino, it doesn't matter what country you're from, you're not going to have a job in this kind of arena anymore but what job will you have um, and what hurdles do you have when a business relies on trust hearing a human voice sympathy understanding humor when it relies on that human interaction where they're in an emergency which is our business that's when no robot can take us over just as yet right so and people don't want that so you must, whether you're competing against, you're being compared to with an Australian accent or whether you're competing against a robot, 
in this business we are able to have we are still able to win as a human because um people still want to talk to you on the phone they want um that trust built they want their questions answered they want that feeling of being heard and connected and you know are they choosing the right product are they whatever the inquiries are are they wasting the time sending us over all those kind of things that will keep this company alive and that will keep you employed you know what i mean so i'm saying this in a very harsh and mean way because i need you guys to do what i say you can't just be like yep that sounds great and the next call you take and want to listen to it you still haven't been like asked what i've done you know I mean? you still haven't done what i've asked which is uh, once the booking is done hey do you have any queries about me do you have any questions about the company do you have any questions about what the plumber will do while on site um is there any doubts have you had any previous interactions with traders that were a problem and they're like yeah the last time a trader came oh well our traders do this you know so the, i can assure you that will not be a problem and if you do you can call me up personally that's the only thing that will keep you employed and that's what people want in time to come in 10 15 years ago to to come people don't want to even talk to human beings so that's when you won't have a job but for now we do i mean and we're all in a bad position where the world is changing i am you am everybody is you know what i mean so um as a business you know i have to think about cryptocurrency i have to think about what new technologies are coming in what new payment system coming in what new all these things that are going to take me out of business and you have to think about that as an as a person working within businesses what's going to take you out and what's going to give you good opportunities as well keep in mind um most of you guys are working through upwork platforms or fiverr and initially when they came out people were afraid to lose their jobs and you know blah 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 to these systems but look now you guys have made the best of the opportunity and uh living a better quality life working through these platforms it's the same thing with these ai's and alpha gpt and all these new technologies your life will improve if you just use them so that's a side note as well um what else did adam speak about um that really mattered has i can't think of anything no um adam so what else